All right, so I'm going to record from here, but we're talking about LinkedIn, and this is just an intro uh, refresher for those who already have it, and um, speaking about personal brand and this presentation that I just finished doing uh, less than an hour ago with some UVI students, University of the Virgin Islands, class of 2020 students, teaching them about their professional brand, why use a LinkedIn, the fact that it's their digital resume, and how to go about getting into setting up their LinkedIn and what things they need to consider, um, like their email address and it being professional and not being something that will make someone laugh or chuckle if that's not your intent <laughs> or raise their eyebrow or rinse their face. And basically I said, again, um, unless your nickname is appropriate for the profession that you're trying to get into, it shouldn't be your professional email address. It shouldn't be within there, right? And your profile picture, you wanna to try to make your profile picture look like the job that you're trying to get so that you can help people to visualize um, what you can do for them, whether it's you trying to get a job or you trying to be the boss and trying to have clients or employees or whatever it might be. Look that, that your profile picture should look like that. Um, whatever that means, depending on the profession or the, the skill set. Help them see you as you want to be seen for their company or, or whatever project or service or whatever that you want to be able to provide. So product, service, project, any of that. Um, your profile picture should be that and it should resemble whatever that is. All right, so we're talking about LinkedIn again, right? And let me do this little slide share thing to show you some of what I showed for them. So I'm going to resize myself here. And get out of your way. And all that says at the beginning is that I'm a UBI communication specialist, which is the job title. PR, public relations, all right, technology, um, distance and online learning, uh, WVI station manager, and communication faculty, teaching things like um, radio production, public speaking, interpersonal communications, website production, different things like that. All right, so here we go. Let me put me back up here. but we spoke pretty much about what LinkedIn is about, you know, and professional networking, not, not that you can't do some social stuff <laughs> in there, but it's really about professional networking. A lot of people are looking at LinkedIn, a lot of people are looking at LinkedIn when they're checking you out to see if um, you are professional enough to work with or for them, okay? Or do the work that they need done. So just know that. Um, this is something else I spoke about with the students. Why should they be on LinkedIn? Even before they get out of college, even before you get out of high school, you can start a LinkedIn account if you're planning ahead for what you wanna be able to do. And it's talking about your profile. I'll switch to my LinkedIn account in a second and actually show some of these things, but talking about your profile and it being like the thing that's on top of the newspaper, bam, um, the thing that speaks the most and the fastest for people, your summary and your experience as well. First impressions, right? And this slide pretty much just spoke to them about um, not having their notifications set to put a, send everything to their email or phone when they're starting their account because you'll get everything. And I got this slide from another university that was also teaching their students how to use it. So someplace in here, there's some credit to that other university that you'll see. Um, spoke about their photos and profile pictures. Let's use myself. 
pictures, re research shows that profiles with pictures are seven times more likely to be viewed by potential connections than those with no photo at all. And your photos should communicate the credibility to the rest of your profile and who you are. And here are some of the examples that we use. All right, the ones on the one side of me versus the ones on the other side. You want to be smiling, you want to have a light background. So you can pop out more than your background. You don't want to have horrible lighting come from behind you or things in the background or you in the little corner of the side or pictures that just don't make you look very favorable. And, or that picture at the right top, um, top center. I don't know whether you're left or your right. Um, nice picture of the lady, but she's obviously in a bar. So that's a no. And speaking about how you write your headline, um, do you just put subject matter, subject matter, subject matter, subject matter? Or do you say what you did? You know, you were a supervisor at this particular type of job doing XYZ. It's more memorable. Um, you know, it speaks more than just what you studied. You need that further down in areas about what you study. So a detailed headline is critical in increasing your findability. That's the main thing that they're saying here. Um, and creating your professional credibility. And it motivates your audience to read more and not just stop there and switch on to something else. And you wanna use keywords that identify your expertise, your focus, and your experience. Let's get past some of this. Summary is like your virtual handshake and personal introduction. So I teach public speaking and we do um, elevator pitches for those who've been in any of the classes that I've taught. You know what this is from day one, you're working on it from day one, day one, 30 second elevator pitch is all the time you get. Um, so shake hand or no, you can't really shake hands right now, COVID times. But whatever you would do when you're meeting somebody for the first time and you wanna make a good impression, your summary is also that. Your profile picture is that, your headline is that, your summary is also that. And you wanna use the same genuine conversational voice that you would for real if you were meeting somebody at a coffee shop or, you know, a Scoops and Brew or <laughs> wherever else it might be. Don't, don't try to be somebody that's selling yourself to them, but more just telling about yourself. You know, we like stories, we don't like commercials. And then I went into some of the information about how you break down um, some of the paragraphs. See, I'm going to skip past a lot of this. Most readers can't spend the time reading your full profile initially. Once they're intrigued by your resume, they may want to download your resume before returning to get more of your profile. So you want to make it easy for them to find it. And I'll show you where my resume is on my LinkedIn page in a few. So I just went into the fact that your experience is relevant first. And again, similar to writing that heading, what did you do? Not just what did you learn, but what did you do with what you learned? You know? So I thought things that way. We could add some multimedia, it makes it work too. Um, went through this with the students. If you at least have this information, you can start a page. Okay, whatever you studied where you went to, where are you in school, so that they know if you're experienced, young, almost ready to be looking for a job, possibly looking for others, other jobs, you know, that type of thing. Um, any volunteer opportunities that you took advantage of, organizations, honors or awards, test scores, uh, any publications or anything that, that you did, all of that's important. Um, profile priorities photo, email address, basic info that's a brand of who you are. Um, your first line to tell the reader who you are, 
what you want and how they can contact you. After that, make sure your summary of more of a story that answers, tell me about yourself. What do you do? What do you, why do you do what you do? Why do you love it? And tell about your aha moments. These are just some, some tips for, to go within your summary. And remember to describe the accomplishments that you're most proud of. Okay, your experience, make this functional, not chronological. Include relevant work and the projects that describe your hands-on experience that, that, that help them to know that you can do the work, right? Not just what you learned, but what you did with what you learned. And that's where I gave them some contact info for me. But now I'm going to switch to the LinkedIn page so that you can see that. And so now this is my LinkedIn profile. Um, well, this isn't a profile. This is like in Facebook, kind of like your news feed. That's where you can see all the stuff everybody else is posting. Not, not the stuff on your timeline. That's just what you've posted, but what everybody else has posted. And for some of you, you allow people to actually post on your timeline. So you have all of that going on. I don't do that. Um, I screen stuff that goes on my timeline because like I mentioned to the students this evening, mind who you align with, spend time with. <laughs> Translation. Um, my friends, colleagues, all of that family, everything is a representation of me and I'm a representation of them. So who you allow to infiltrate your profile is what you're saying about yourself. So don't just think if you're posting things on there People won't think that it is who you are. They will. And not everybody reads everything to find out the details of why you allowed stuff to be posted there. So let's be careful about that. All right. So this is just, let me see the newer posts on here. Hey, nice. So Virgin Islands Children Museum, Chantel, showcasing people who have been participating in the Global Giving Projects and donating to the VI Children's Museum. Nice. So you can like it, you can celebrate it, support it, love it, say it's insightful, or you can be curious. I'm going to support. And then what I would do is I would share it. In three days, 34 people have donated. Nice. Nice number, $3,400. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy hers and I'm actually gonna share it to my LinkedIn profile. But not only am I gonna paste what she said, I'm just gonna start with, love this. Post. All right, so while that's posting, so I'm just going through my timeline. Um, I mean, my, again, this would be like my news feed and different people that I'm following are connected to what they've been sharing. but this isn't my profile profile. So you could be stuck here all day and I'm doing this intentionally just to see. So why am I going through what everybody's doing? That's not what I really want to be doing. I want to go to my profile. So you can do that all day on Facebook. What are you getting out of it other than some entertainment and some mental downtime, right? Which isn't completely downtime because that's a lot of stimulation, right? So if you need that, then use it for that. But if you're actually trying to be productive in something that you're doing, that's probably not the best way to spend your time. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna, the screen seems to be moving a little slow, but okay, there we go. So here's my LinkedIn profile and my cover photo, which is the biggest thing that pops out there is me in this bright blazer with my UBI 
paraphernalia on and my technology and behind here more technology i'm actually teaching and doing a live with this gentleman this was at a national association of black journalists conference uh, i don't remember when um, but i was presenting about using technology in the media uh, to communicate with and doing it while presenting about it profile photo it's a very old photo of me but it's the one that shows the most teeth i do have teeth people like teeth show them your teeth <laughs> um, there's something about that psychologically that, that's a trust factor um, and eyes looking straight ahead even though this is a little not direct direct but it's still kind of focusing in this way so i, I like to use it anyway and I could, oops, I could do that, but I'm not going to do that. I could zoom in, but then everything outside the circle is going to get cut off. So I leave it just so. Got my name, got my university affiliation. This could mean that I'm a student. It could mean that I work here. It could mean that I'm alumni. It could mean all sorts of things, but immediately they're branded right there with me. Okay. And for right now, this means that I work here currently. This little thing helps people who don't know how to pronounce things, give them a little help. So I'm going to click on it. And if you notice, that's actually my voice. Not anybody else's. So that's helpful. It's not a robotic sounding anything. You could say it however you want to say it, as long as you say it right, and then they'll say it right. And yeah, my name is registered trademark. That's why it's there. Um, and I am going to go further down. Um, it's my page. It's not a work page. So I have my business as my immediate um, title thing in terms of being an independent business owner. And it shows a number of contacts and my contact info link. So the link to the LinkedIn profile is right there. Website, number, address, socials, other things like that. You could add more, but up to you. If you're looking for a job, you would click on showing recruiters that you're open to work. Or if you just want to showcase your services. So you and your business can be found in a search. You could go in there. I haven't done any of that right now. Um, notice in my about area, I don't have a paragraph first thing. I have, in a nutshell, I learn, do, teach, and tell. Because that's what I do. I'm a student. I also have a business, so I do things. And I teach. And I'm a communicator, PR, multimedia. So I tell people stuff using lots of different media. I'm a creative, I'm an educator, and I pretend to be a techie. There's more information on there, but in case people don't read a lot and they're just looking for imagery, I just put that first. If they want to read more, they can click see read, you know, see more, and then get the details. And see resume for details. And there's a resume right under it, so they can check it out. There's an article that I did for the source, and I posted it on my LinkedIn so people can get access to reading it. Click on my resume and yep, I made it pretty. Same type of thing. You got a photo, contact info. You say what you got to say about yourself. Throwing some keywords up all over the place, just like you flashing colors. <laughs> um, and you pop out whatever you have to pop out. An aid educator with proven track record for successfully developing and implementing online and blended learning environments with intensive student outreach advisement and strategic innovative engagement methods. <sighs> Articulates creative, flexible, and analytical problem solving solutions. Detail oriented and intu intuitive with project management, consumer, customer service, and decision making skills. All of that you're going to see when we get into testimonials because I didn't write that. Okay. That's not something that I came up with. All right. Um, I'm going to thank a little plug here for Zach Estrada Peterson for helping to pick my resume. Um, <laughs> but, um, and um, there's the business plug again. And in the formal education, the work experience, 
certifications and certificates. Someone made a comment about these being redundant, but certificate and a certification are definitely not the same thing. And if you get confused by them, it could be misleading because you can get certificates of completion and lots of stuff. That doesn't mean you're certified in that thing. Okay. And professional organizations and um, LinkedIn platforms that you want people to be able to follow. And people could download your resume. It's a PDF. All right. And again, there's that article if you want people to be able to read that. They could click on it and go to it. You can see people's reactions and people's comments and things like that. But let's go back to the profile. What else you have there? Dashboard. So it shows you how many people have been looking at your profile, how many people have been looking at your posts, um, people who have been searching for you. You get to see all of that. You can see more if you get different types of accounts. I am still using the free LinkedIn account, right? Because I'm not really looking for work. So I have no reason to kind of push it to that extent. I just update it every so often and check in every so often, but not, not daily or anything like that. Um, well, maybe daily, maybe once, depends. But here is now my activity. I have that many followers on LinkedIn, um, 1,400. And it just shows different things that you've done whether you're congratulating people or you're making comments on people's posts or you're posting things yourself, your experience. And this is basically your resume broken down. Education. What else do I have in there? Oh, okay. Yeah, so for those that didn't know, a lot of people know about the UBI stuff. Um, not everybody knows I used to teach music at St. Peter and Paul and Christ Church Methodist Outreach, Rising Stars. I used to help Jade with Beans Bites and websites in terms of the Cyber Cafe management. I missed that place. Music production and graphic designer, it's a record studio, record company. I used to teach in the Lawton Public School System in Oklahoma. And my first job at UVI, I was working in the library as a computer software specialist. And I basically learned this software that was used to help to preserve a lot of the books um, from after Hurricane Hugo and no, Marilyn, sorry. Uh, this was 99, yeah, this was in 99. So after Hurricane Marilyn, <laughs> Um, a lot of the books got wet. And so to preserve them, they needed to be scanned in. But you don't just want to scan them in and just have them with a bunch of pictures or PDFs. You want them to be able to be searchable. Um, so they needed a software to be able to scan the books, um, turn everything into searchable text. O-C-R-M-O-M-R. -M -M optical character recognition, optical mark recognition. And so I basically learned the software, loaded it on their computers, taught the students and faculty and staff there how to use it, and then just oversaw how that was done so that they were able to scan in all of those things and save them and archive them. That was my first job at UVI in 1999. I was pregnant with my firstborn. Um, and then that's the Rising Stars quadraphonics um, steel band instructor. All right. Um, Licenses and certifications. Um, and you have those there, mediation, management consulting, creative suite, uh, communication educator, educational consultant, advertising ethics, volunteer experience, people love to see that. What do you like to do and not be paid for it? That tells them a lot about you. And it, and it helps them to see if you fit into what they need. Um, what do other people say about you that you're capable of? Public relations, 99 plus, event planning, research, grant writing, yada, 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 yada. All right, whatever all these things are. 
what other people say about you. Sometimes that's more important than what you say about yourself, depending on who, who's listening. All right. Recommendations, even more significant, right? What are people saying about you? So some people say um, they're a go-to person for social media assistance. Well-versed, I can teach it also. Good at explaining how things work so that it's not so tech savvy um, for people who don't understand it like that. And who need to learn different platforms. Patient, calm, never seems to be rushed. You feel like you always have her undivided attention when she's helping you at a task. So this would work for some place that's looking for someone that has those qualities. You have to be patient. You can't put pressure on people that you're helping. So maybe this would be good for some place that needs a customer service agent. You know, somebody that works with people at a front desk. Um, you know, whoever it might be. Um, always follows up to check on your progress. Ultimate professional. Keyword, professional, right? Let's see. Provides a supportive environment for learners of any age. Uh, when she encounters my students, it's clear that they've been able to absorb and not merely be exposed to material. So that means effective in teaching, right? Effective teaching. More keywords. Um, finds a way to allow them to learn and meld the material with themselves to improve their lives. Functional. Functional education. Um, not only experienced and learned, truly gifted, exceptional. Okay, those are fluff. Um, <laughs> well versed, great photographer, humble person, always willing to help when she can. Versatile, creative, there's that word creative again, versatile. Uh, brilliant, That's, that could be an opinion, right? But able to overcome even the biggest obstacles, that means that they may have some experience that know that that's true, which is why they could write it. True asset to the Virgin Islands. That's somebody saying that depending on who they are, someone else may weigh that higher than me saying that or somebody that is a friend or a family. Um, thanks, Adam, for like um, do, 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 do. We've worked together to organize one of the first large scale spoken word events in both the BVI and USVI. Yes, microphone messengers. Social media, public relations, graphic design. All right, keywords. People skills. Uh, Multi-talented, high energy, go-getter. More keywords, right? Cultural appetite, insatiable. Leader, more keywords. And there's more, but wait, there's more. Highly experienced community organizer, says who? Depends, look and see. What does this person do? Why are they credible to even know what that is, right? All of these things are, are strategic and again, mind who you line with, spend time with, <laughs> um, Stella and family, right? Work with young people is invaluable to the community. Again, opinions, but from who? Is she credible? Does what she does, does what she, yeah, does what she does. This is what she does. This sounds funny. Um, make her somebody that's credible to be able to say that. You know, what's the weight in it? Recommend as graphic designer, social media. Okay, there we go again. Graphic designer, social media. Expert is opinionated, right? Um, task oriented, creative. I think that's the third time we saw that, right? Audiovisual, web and design work, and community member. Uh, conscious, committed, creative. Confident, interpersonal skills, ICT skills, asset to any organization, optimistic problem solver. Think outside the box, creative. <laughs> and then how they benefited. Quietly attains excellence. It goes back to humility. That word was mentioned before. These people don't know each other. So if someone is looking at these things and they start seeing these repeated themes of your personality or character traits, then they start thinking, hmm, maybe this is true. Is this the type of person that I need for this job or to run this company or to be a partner or whatever it might be, right? Positive attitude, um, balanced community activities with finding time for home and family life. 
above characters above repute. Okay. Um, highly recommend. Talented, motivated, dynamic. Highly capable in many areas, including here we go again, graphic design, educational technology. That's the first time that one's mentioned. Organizational management. I think that was someplace else. Um, creative. Tremendous potential to help organizations meet strategic and operational goals. Positive and upbeat. All right, I think I'm about to have some company. You can lock it. Yeah, you can lock it. Thank you. Security checking up on us. All right. Uh, da, 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 where was I? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. While I upbeat, breath of fresh air. While I don't have experience with her on the job. Okay. So that's, there's some honesty. Have plenty of experience as she extends itself beyond her position in AVI and into Quanta 365. Da, 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 and that person speaks about. Oh. Okay speaks about what the organization is. So then if I needed to be able to point to someone towards what I've done in an organization before, I would pull something out of what this person said. Okay, rare to find an individual who's blessed to be in a professional position that mirrors aspects of the personality. Yeah, that's true. It's fun. It's a fun place to be. Okay, artistic, patient. There's that word again. Steadfast, aware of her place in the scheme of things. Okay, good. Um, Exceptionally creative, self-motivated, results-oriented. Uh, always a pleasure working with her on deadline critical projects. I know she will beat our expectations every time. So I'm showing you different things that other people can say about you. And you, they probably say them in person or some other way. But LinkedIn is a place where if you can connect with people and they can have um, the opportunity to do this, share these things here. They're here permanently. You don't have to go on looking for it anymore, okay? Um, so that's, that's a good way to do a lot of things. Word of mouth, still number one, you know, still, still, still. And word of mouth, social media is just word of mouth exponentially because you can share so many things. LinkedIn is social media, but it's just the professional side of it. All right, so this is uh, Dr. Toomey from University of Massachusetts, Amherst. He met me when he enrolled, when I enrolled in a class. He taught in web design in 2006 here at UVI. Uh, struck me up. So this one goes into kind of a more, it's still professional, but it goes into kind of a profession, personal experience that this professional person had. And people like stories. So as I read this, you can almost visualize what they felt from the experience. All right, let me start. So I met Ms. Cooper when she enrolled in a class I taught in web design in winter 2006 at UVI. She struck me from the first as imaginative, talented, and thoroughly professional. The course involved a variety of software programs, Adobe Dreamweaver, Photoshop, Flash, and featured a rather steep learning curve that Ms. Cooper negotiated with ease. Working in concert with other students, she turned in an outstanding final project, one that was good enough to be presented to the university president. She has an aesthetic sensibility as well as an aptitude for software. So you need that if you're trying to get into a business of related to software. A rare combination of talents. Someone else said something about rare combination before. Um, so that speaks to uniqueness, right? Something that stands out. Possessed of an engaging personality and quick sense of humor. She was, and I doubt is, a pleasure to work with. Since that class, Ms. Cooper has directed her talents in many directions, most significantly working with the Cooperative Extension Service and nonprofits, Kwanzaa 365 and the Sankofa Saturday Youth Cultural Education Initiative. I'm certain that Ms. Cooper will meet and exceed the expectations of any employer or contractor recommend or highlight. Okay, so there you go. You got a little story from a professional that highlighted certain things um, on a personal and professional level. Uh, gifted organizer, talented and skillful artist, dependable asset. Highly motivated, creative, there's that word again, community-oriented individual who thrives on helping others. Yeah, 
poet, community activist, mother, exudes passion, keen interest in promoting African culture through the diaspora, self-motivated, gets things done, makes important connections and linkages, and articulates and is articulate and relentless in pursuing inclusion. Yes, inclusion. Commended for juggling multitasks. There's that theme again, while maintaining her own work. All right, so accomplishments, whether it's courses, honors, awards, publications, um, projects that have been worked on, languages, paraprofessional. This is interesting right now. So for those that didn't know, when I first returned home and uh, before I finished my undergrad, I was advised to con consider working in the school system because I had just come from teaching in the public school system in Oklahoma. So I went ahead and took the paraprofessional test and I got a 100% score. I was the only one that did that. And I was congratulated before I walked out the building because they were surprised that I actually got a perfect score. Um, I did not go into teaching in the public school system. I actually went to teach at St. Peter and Paul for a while, and it helped me to be able to learn my, my own teaching, to start doing more of my own teaching method without having some of the restrictions that are placed on us. Um, and I'm going to leave that right there for today. But, you know, some of your interests are there influencers that you're interested in, companies, groups that you're interested in or connected with or part of really in this case. People can see all of this. Schools that for whatever reason you're interested in. Okay. And so there's a lot that you can do in here. I haven't even gone through half of this stuff, right? Um, but I'm just showing you, you can post jobs if you have work to offer to people. Um, LinkedIn Learning, I teamed up with lynda.com so you could take whatever courses you need to online. All sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff. There are community pages, and so I do manage some community pages on LinkedIn, uh, UVI stuff, SBDC, Central for Saturdays, Confidential Media, VI Triple C, radio station, just like Facebook has official pages and profiles, so does LinkedIn. Your messages, just like Facebook Messenger notifications, ah, Chantel, this is one of the students that was just on, so she went ahead and viewed my profile. And other notifications. Mm -hmm. Jobs, if you wanna search based on Notice that I didn't type anything in here, but it has all of these in here already because of what I do. And you can type in other things. Director, diversity and inclusion, education and outreach, Emory University. So these are just like, based on your profile, they're suggesting certain jobs for me that I should apply to. Director of campaign communications, co-director of public relations at Harvard, Innovation Labs, co-director of public education, yeah, yeah, yeah. Senior Vice President, Supporter Relations, Director of Government Affairs. And you do get some emails about these if you want to. Site Director, Boys and Girls Club, VP of Design and Architecture. So again, these are just suggestions. I haven't gone looking for anything yet, just based on what I put on my LinkedIn profile. These are different suggestions that are automated. And I could go through these and look and see if there's anything I actually want to apply to. 
and it's not hard to click on and go ahead and apply. Thank you, Mr. Producer. My network. And it shows your contacts, your connections, people you follow, groups. So like I said, I don't use it. I actually don't use LinkedIn as much as I use Facebook. Um, sharing a lot more socially to educate, but some things I, I post on both, some things I only post on one or the other, depending on the subject matter. So it just depends, and these are suggestions for who you can connect with based on the people who you're already connected to, kind of like what Facebook does also, and people, people you can follow as well. And back to home. I didn't go to advertise. That's more stuff. Um, hmm. I think I may have shared this, but if not, actually, I'm gonna do it right now because we're trying to encourage some young people to sign up for this, especially young men. And I'm just gonna copy and paste it. I'll just put. Not that. So I'm going to stop there. Support. Stop sharing. And come back to you here. So. I think that's enough. For tonight. But there's a lot. But if you're looking for work right now, like many people are, I could your home, you can't go out to do what it is you might normally do because of the COVID lockdown situation in some places and just places just don't, don't have what they usually do. Um, you may wanna start considering some other things. What are your skill sets? What are your talents? What's your experience? What do you want to do if you could create a job for yourself, create a business or find a partner or um, go into something that that you wanted to do before, but you just couldn't for whatever reason find online trainings you can you can take on LinkedIn. Um, what are your current online platforms saying about you that could help you or hurt you as you try to venture out into whatever the next thing is in your life? And how do you how do you address that? How do you fix that? What is your personal brand? Lots of questions. You got time right now. <laughs> um, parents with children at home, you wanna learn some things to help them. Again, look for the people that are doing that, connect with them, learn from them. Um, not all of us are in a situation where we are ready to be what this current time calls for. But what are we gonna do? We gotta get there. So try to get there together. That's all I can say to that. It's not easy. It's not an easy time. But what are we gonna do? <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna pause here and switch hats. And go eat the rest of my orange that I started. I'll speak about that. I said I would, right? So I'm going to put in the chat where I got this shirt from, where you can find out more information by following Cassico. Okay, supporting our own with whatever we can. All right, so I hope that was helpful. The thing about this is that you can rewind, mute, or go to the next screen <laughs> if it wasn't helpful. But if it was helpful, let me know. And um, 
other things that people want to learn about right now. I'm willing to do some quick things like this to get information out. It will not be everything. Um, some things, at least you need an intro to so you can do the research yourself or just get some more help in whatever way. This is what I do. I teach tech and other stuff. Write a little bit, do a little bit of artsy stuff. Hang out with young people. Try to stay with old people. So make use of it. All right, I'm gonna head out. <laughs>